Well, guys, we have another fire, Delta fire, in California. California, uh, north of Redding, California. And it doesn't look pretty. It looks quite massive. It started earlier yesterday. It's about quarter of two a.m. on the East Coast, so... It started about 1.30 p.m. yesterday in California. And it is rapidly spreading. We went from 500 to 2,000 acres very quickly. And wow, well, yeah, it is the new normal for you in California. Lopez. And I'm Adrienne Moore. It's being called the Delta Fire, and it has quickly grown to 500 acres and even shut down part of I-5. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is in the newsroom with details. And Adrian and Tony, we're learning it's even bigger than that. The flames from the Delta Fire have shut down a 45-month stretch of I-5. The fire started on Delta School Road earlier today. Take a look at some pictures. This one was taken by Caltrans around 2 o'clock this afternoon near the Volmers exit. And this one just beside the freeway. You can see how close these flames came to the 18-wheeler. I-5 is shut down from Fawndale Road north of Redding to Mott Road south of Mount Shasta. The Shasta County Sheriff's Office is conducting evacuations on both sides of I-5 north of Lakehead to the shasta Siskiyou County line. Drivers are advised to use an alternate route around the closure. So that was several hours ago. That was when it was still at 500 acres. And that was not my, it, there was something wrong with the uh, audio for this video. So I don't want you to think that that was my audio. Um, and it kept going very low and high. So I apologize for that. But this thing is massive. Dry conditions. The winds are not very high. It. I hope to God. I looked on a map. Actually, I'll take you there right now. Um, it doesn't seem to be a uh, dense residential area. Oh God. Let me see, zooming in. Uh, it is, there are a few homes, it looks like an area that is sparsely populated. So this is north of Reading. Um, It's a resort area, campgrounds. So I think the evacuations were mostly of campgrounds, but I don't know. I find it interesting that even on the uh, this incident information site, this is updated regularly. It was updated 37 minutes ago. It's now 5,000 acres. Wow. So it's now 5,000 acres. And this article that was sent to me by a subscriber, um, when was this posted? It was posted, updated at 12.24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so yeah, it was updated only about an hour and a half ago. Okay, Delta Fire is now 5,000. Sorry, because I read 2,000. Um, they're evacuating both sides of the interstate, and the fire is on both sides of the interstate burning on both sides of I-5. 
north of Lakehead. And it is progressing primarily to the north. Wow. All right. So I did look to see what's up north. And it, there doesn't seem to be a lot of homes, but there is an awful lot of wildlife. Wow. Well, look at this. Now, I want you to watch the... Um, the trucks going right through, and I believe that this is I-5. Are safe, which is very good, right? Right. Um, take a look at some of the pictures on the Delta Fire Twitter page. It's funny how it seems that each fire now gets its own Twitter page. So, It is very, very large. I want to take you to one picture in particular, which is this. What happened here? A couple of trucks that burned up in the Delta fire remain burning on I-5. Really? So what happened to these trucks? Do you... I, I, it looks like it was hit with a bomb and incinerated. It's so heartbreaking to realize that we can't get through to the people that we need to get through to in order to get this stopped with all of these people refusing to even just ask questions like why why is this happening on a regular basis now why are we seeing all of the flooding all over the country. You would hope that people, you would think that people, not hope, but think that they would be really trying to um, trying to understand what we are living here. Look at this thing. And I guess people just find it easy to believe that this is the new normal and that it's climate change. All right, um, I will link below to everything. But I do want to point out on the National Mosaic, these frequencies have been going off on a regular basis in California and this one has been going on. This was just like what you're looking at now. It was pretty much the same last night. This is in um, Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, 
I don't know why it said Las Vegas, Nevada. It, oh, I'm sorry. It's an Air Force Base. Edwards Air Force Base. Okay. So, here, right outside of Los Angeles, you have pretty intense frequencies taking place. These are extremely low frequencies, and extremely low frequencies can cause earthquakes. You also have frequencies. I'm sorry for how slow my computer is. Um, you also have frequencies going off in Northern California. Eureka. And this is pretty much, this is what I see virtually every night now in California, Mount Shasta. Reading and all of these frequencies being set off, and your fire is north of Reading. And you have frequencies being set off at the Beale Air Force Base, Reading, Mount Shasta and Oroville. This is very dangerous. Extremely low frequencies. Uh, set off vibrations in the ground. You've got a dam, Oroville. You've got your fault lines. And whatever else that they are doing with these frequencies Well, it tells me that they're certainly being used for a reason. Doesn't it tell you that too? I, God, I'm really sorry for all of you who are having to deal with the fires, having to deal with the floods. Well, I can't not think about all of the wildlife 